This is Okitel WP27 Disassembly. If you're interested in seeing more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and click on the notification bell so you'll be notified once I upload a new video. And if you need any tools, there are links in the description. First, the SIM tray will need to be removed. Here's a better look at the micro SD and SIM tray. The glass camera lens cover can be replaced by applying heat and prying it off. So you don't need to take apart the phone to replace that. The back plate cover is also held down with some adhesive, so that can be removed by applying heat and prying it off. However, the disassembly for this phone is from the front where the screen is. To pry the screen off, you're going to have to apply heat to loosen up the adhesive underneath, and then you'll need a pry tool to pry the screen off. The glue or adhesive underneath the screen is extremely strong, so you're going to have to take your time heating it up and working on prying it off. Once the screen has finally been pried off the frame, it can be lifted over but be careful since the flex cable is still attached to the main board. There's a Phillips screw holding down the cover that needs to be removed. Here's a look at the screen. There are 13 Phillips screws holding down the mid-frame. The flex cable for the proximity sensor also has to be peeled off. Here's a look at the aluminum mid plate. There's some graphite film and copper tape top transfer heat. The battery cable cannot be disconnected, followed by the rest of the cables. This flex cable connects the main board to the subboard. To remove the battery, there's an adhesive pull pouch provided to help you pry it off. Here's a better look at the 8500 mAh battery. This battery is basically two 4250 mAh batteries put together to operate as one. The flex cable for the 16 megapixel front facing camera can be disconnected, as well as the coaxial cable. There are three Phillips screws holding down the main board. There's copper tape over the shields to help transfer heat. Once the shield cover has been removed, we can see a thermal pad on top of the processor and next to it is the RAM. We can see the 64 megapixel primary camera and the 20 megapixel night vision camera, as well as the 2 megapixel macro lens, none of which have OIS or optical image stabilization. The camera connectors can be disconnected by just popping them off. The SIM and memory card reader is located underneath the copper tape. The flex cable for the NFC antenna can be peeled off. There's some adhesive holding the 16 megapixel front facing camera to the plastic assembly. With a little heat, you'd be able to pry it off. We can see some antenna flex cables on the other side, as well as the night vision lights and the dual LED flash. The other end of the coaxial cable needs to be disconnected from the subboard. And the lock for the flex cable connector for the microphone can be lifted up in order to release it.
There are two Phillips screws holding down the subboard. Here's a better look at that. On the back side of the subboard, we can see the charger port and headphone jack. There are two more Phillips screws that have to be removed in order to remove the speaker assembly. This plastic assembly houses both the speaker, the vibrator motor, and some antenna flex cables. Here's a look at the microphone. The NFC antenna is located in the center. These flex cables are for the power button and volume keys, and this one's for the button on this side. And finally, the earpiece speaker is located on top, which is held in place with a cure in place gasket. For the repairability score on this phone, I give it a 6 out of 10. Now it's time to put it back together. Once everything is back in place, apply new adhesive and reapply the screen. Power on the phone, and you're done. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.